Hello everyone, this video is covering the Tangled Path story achievements. So it starts off with the two, you know, general standard ones, the Tangled Paths episode. So just run through, complete that, that story, and you'll get that one. And then the Tangled Paths Mastery, which you get for finishing the rest of the achievements. So the first achievements are going to be in tracking the Aspect Masters section. So when you go into that mission, uh, the first one is going to be light them up. So light them up, you need to find an alternative way to destroy the rooted Mordrum leeching thrasher blocking the pathway. So what you're going to do here is as soon as you enter, turn around and there's a little room behind you. And you just grab the flamethrower in there and use that to defeat it. Uh, it's actually much easier when you're using that. It does a lot of damage to it. So um, just go through and kill the leeching thrasher that way. So, if you're a little squishy, you're going to want to stay back, and you can just kind of work your way through it slowly. It's pretty easy. You can solo it. Not bad. Uh, you should be able to solo it pretty easy, even on the challenge mode, which is what I'm about to discuss next. So you'll notice the challenge mode uh, as, as soon as you go in there. It's the little blue glowing sphere. And you will get dancing in the dark for completing tracking the aspect masters after speaking with the challenge mode and activating challenge mode. So when you activate challenge mode it will get darker in there, enemies will take more damage, they'll deal more damage, and some of their skills will be buffed. For example the uproar skill that uh, you encounter on the terror Griff will be larger, like it'll cover the entire thing, and I'm not sure if you can avoid it or not, I didn't uh, see a way you could avoid that. So, you know, just watch out for that. But otherwise, it's not too bad. Um, uh, something I also noticed is if you go down and die and the party wipes, on normal, you'll just be able to get back into the fight and it doesn't reset. On the challenge mode, it will reset, so you'll have to take it down from the beginning again if you are defeated. Um, a big tip for the terror Griff is just to stay in the corner here, by the vines and you'll be out of the way of like all of the poles from the vines and uh, his um, his charges and stuff but one thing you want to do is uh, if, you, if you're gonna leave to do damage because he's too far away from that corner then you can get next to him while he's charging and he typically won't charge to the side he'll just charge across the, the little arena there so you can avoid getting hit by his charges just by kinda sticking next to him just not too close. And then the final achievement you can get there is going to be No Terrorgriff Pack Snack. So this is for defeating the Mordrum Terrorgriff without being hit by its malformed allies. This is pretty easy. You just need to avoid them when they get summoned. They're um, pretty easy to avoid just on their own, but you can also deal damage which will knock them back. So if you have kind of some AoEs or whatever, just to keep them at bay, it'll go pretty quickly, and you can mop them up quite nicely. So you can get all three of those in one run. It's not too bad, uh, especially if you're with a party. The next mission is the Into the Labyrinth mission. So there are three achievements there as well. Um, they're all kind of something you can do at the same time. Uh, one of them is Labyrinth Runner, complete into the Labyrinth instance within 20 minutes. 20 minutes is plenty, you can do you can do that like easily. Uh, I did all three at the same time and still get it done in you know under 20 minutes, so that's, that's not bad at all. Uh, Master of the Maze is reached the center of the maze without being caught by the Mordrum Lurcher. Now you can mostly just like run through here and uh, just avoid it as, as best as possible. Just don't engage and don't get hit by its uh, charge. And you can, like, uh, if you have any teleport skills or invulnerability, uh, you can just bypass it pretty easily. So, you know, just don't get caught by that. It's pretty, uh, not too bad. If you're having a lot of trouble with it, I think another team member can basically tank it for you. And uh, distract it, and then you can switch off on the next run through. And get everyone the achievement that way. And the final achievement is to connect the dots. Rescue your allies in this order. Rox, Bram, Marjorie, and Casimir. So basically, this one's pretty easy as well. You just need to do it in a certain order. Uh, I marked their locations on the map, and basically you just go to each one and then backtrack till you get to the, you know, where you um, split off and get the next one. 
So uh, you just gotta get it in that order. So don't talk to them until you've gotten the previous one, and they won't count. So that's that. That's also a pretty easy one. So I hope you found this guide helpful, and thanks for watching.